Hello fellow dragon fruit growers, this is Paul, and here is the unknown variety I call the Unknown Road. It's just under a pound, and if you remember, we literally found this on the side of the road for free, just over a year ago. And now, we have this fruit, and it's white fleshed, but what's interesting about this variety is that it's not self-fertile. The plant requires cross-pollination. I tested it out and I tried four flowers and they all aborted with its own, with its own pollen. So a white fleshed, self sterile variety, which is not always a good thing. And I have right here K. You can just see the differences between a red flesh variety and a white flesh variety. Now the last white flesh variety I had, it was just okay. And let's see if this one tastes better. So it's definitely a different shape than Soul Kitchen White. And this Unknown Road has a nice amount of flesh to seeds. So it's not too seedy. Let's see how it tastes. It's nice and juicy too. A little bit sweet. Mmm. This one is a hundred times better than Soul Kitchen. Wow, this is really sweet. We need to brix this. This is the best white flesh variety I've tasted to date. And who would have thought we found it free on the side of the road? Wow. This is a really sweet white. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if the bricks refractometer agrees. Now again, this checks the content of sugar, the percentage of sugar in the sample. And you want to use the liquid, not solids, otherwise you'll get an inaccurate reading. All right, score is a 17.8. I would have guessed it was 18 or 19, but this is a really tasty fruit. I'm gonna keep this plant. I'm noticing that white flesh varieties are not my favorite to grow out of the 150 varieties we have. But this one I'm keeping. Very sweet. Really nice texture, really juicy, balanced, zero earthy aftertaste. Really enjoyable fruit. I bet this will get into the 20s if I left it on a little longer. Well, I spit out a little seed, that was gross. Sorry, but what I was saying is that I think that this one will sweeten up even more if I left it on the plant longer. And what's nice about this is it didn't split like that Soul Kitchen White that I reviewed recently. Mmm. That is really enjoyable. I'm going to always keep this unknown. I, I looked, I gave up trying to find out what it is. Because there aren't too many commercial varieties that are um, self-sterile, that are white flesh. Most are self-fertile. Mmm. Let me see what it tastes like right after compared to these, a red versus a white. Mmm. Reds are much more berry. The white just tastes more sweet, like a mel sweet melon. Let's mix it up. Oh, that's delicious. Okay. So I will be keeping this variety, and I will share some of this plant with friends because I think it's definitely a, a decent variety. No earthiness, very sweet. The only bummer is, like I said, it requires cross-pollination. Mmm. All right. I really like this white variety. Give us a like and a subscribe. Have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. And hopefully you'll be getting to eat some wonderful dragon fruit soon. That is tasty like these. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care.